ਕਰ not too sure what's going on here but um it came in as a structure fire right now uh, Boston Fire Department just been standing by trying to see if they can locate the uh source of activation um Boston please have this block like blocked off for precautionary reasons um, as soon as they got here, they put the ladders up like right away. So now they investigate and see what's going on. Um, they have not evacuated the building, but um, typically, if you hear an alarm going off, especially if it's a building alarm, you should evacuate the building. Um, it's always best to err on the side of caution than not. So right now they're still trying to check out and see what's going on. Doesn't appear to be anything major. Like I said, as soon as they arrive, they um, they put the ladders up like right away, just to be on the safe side. You still got people in there. So they have not evacuated. Looks like it might be an all clear because they're putting their stuff away. So it doesn't appear to be too serious. Down, so it must, must be all clear. Like I said, it came in as a structural fire, but I don't. That seems like somebody called that in, because it wasn't a uh, it wasn't a local alarm that came in. It was that you somebody called it in. But it could be food on the stove or something. It's always a good sign when they're bringing the ladders down. This is down in the um, south end on, uh, I believe this is Columbus Ave. And I believe we're at the corner. Columbus Avenue, Holyoke Street. That could be wrong. I have to check the cross street. I, I thought it was Holyoke, but I might be wrong on the cross street. So the, both ladders are down. They're clearing out of here. Um, this one says, looks like it says Pembroke Street. On that side over there. I don't think you make that out. So it looks like they gave it the all clear. Um, probably somebody cooking food or something on the stove. Who knows? Take a quick walk around before we head up out of here. Yeah, it says Pembroke Street. Looks like it says Pembroke.
we're in uh, Rescue One's territory. Walk across. Yeah, Alpha 201. Yeah. We're out of 17. And... Which one? Yeah, he's done. Alright, sounds like uh, someone tried to reheat something in a uh, powerful container or a takeoff box. It caused a lot of smoke. Stand it by now, they clear it out. Okay, man. Like they, um, they don't come out on There's a lot of equipment down here. They're going to be allowed before you can play it out. Yeah, I'm keeping the two units down here. Okay. So, I guess there was a lot of smoke, they said. Um, Sunday said someone trying to cook something in a styrofoam container. So, it sounded like they said. Um, so, it wasn't actually a fire. It was more smoke than fire. But they still had a good response, and they didn't charge any lines, which is always a good thing. And this is Brad Braddock Park. Delta 520. How you doing? 520, call me. Uh, yeah, uh, UMass Boston is thank you, but uh, they are all set. They said you could cancel. Okay, Madam Bobbitt over here. I'll check out what the message is with us, but all right. Okay, I'll keep you off on it. Please clear. These guys work hard. You just, just so you know, if you ever see the Boston Fire Department, they're always working hard. They're, like, they're probably the hardest workers of the city. Um, Charlie 113. All right, so they they gave it the all clear. Got the Austin squad here. They always got to check out stuff and see what's going on. Uh, I'm going to hang around for a little bit until they clear up out of here for the most part. Give you some footage. Um... Usually when people call in like structure fires, like they're assuming the worst case scenario. That's why they send like a second alarm right off the bat. Like So ladder, I believe ladder, um, which one is it? Engine 22 and I'm not sure what ladder, well this ladder right here. They, they come They come from Columbus Ave over there. I believe they come from Columbus Ave. Usually the station is named after the engine if I'm not mistaken. So the so station um, station twenty two is is usually the is, the is the name of the company of the engine. 
I'm not too sure what floor that was that they were on up there, but um, could be. Could be one of the higher floors. Not too, not too sure who manages these properties there. Um, has to be um, probably a management company that does manage it though. Columbus Ave, that's where we're at, 465 Columbus Ave. Uh, so one ladder and one um, engine left, they got 22 and, I don't, this must be a spare truck because they don't have the ladder on it. it. Usually has the ladder on it, that's probably a spare. It's probably one of the ones they use when the other one's being serviced. And this is one of the heavier trucks because it has the um, the dual wheels in the back. Usually the other ones only have the single wheel wheels in the back, the uh, single set of wheels. This one has the um, the dual set, so that ladder probably reaches higher than the regular ladders. Probably a heavier ladder, that's probably what it is too. Yeah, I guess they're conducting their um, the investigation to see what really took place. And Avenue, right, engine 29, lateral 11, current 11, a structure fire, 1742 Common Wealth Avenue, right, nearest box, 531 5 Lanark and Sutherland RDS, 2013. See, when they say struck box, it's sometimes it could be an actual fire, or it could be somebody just pulled the box. So it's kind of hard to say. They only go by what they, what they hear on the, um, on the board. And they got like four fire ground channels and two main channels. Well, one main and one Engine dispatch. And 37, ladder 26, rescue one, a structure of fire, 1742 Commonwealth Avenue, Brighton. Engine 51 and 37, yeah, ladder 26, rescue one, a structure of fire, 1742 Commonwealth Avenue, Brighton. Nearest box, 
I monitor that situation to see if there's actually a structure fire. It could be one though. It's possible. Engine 42, a structure fire. 1742 Commonwealth Avenue. Brighton. Engine 42, a structure fire. 1742 Commonwealth Avenue. Brighton. Nearest Fox. 5315 Lanark and Sutherland RTS. 2014. 1742 Commonwealth Avenue. That's. It's probably about three miles from here. So they're going to clear up out of here. something maybe in the microwave or something that created a lot of smoke but it wasn't no actual fire just a lot of smoke and the alarms went off so um, everybody's safe um, be all clear right now we're at 465 Columbus Ave Alright guys, I'm gonna head up, head up out of here. Got, got enough footage for this one. Bravo 415, um, They're gonna do the investigation. Make sure there's no foul play. And. That's pretty much it. Alright guys, until next time, there's Porter. If anything else comes up, I'll let you guys know.